YouTube, it is Twilight Angel 88, or also known as Vocab Vixen on the Realm of the Mad God. And I'm here in my guild, and we have gotten the first upgrade, which is 10,000 fame. And basically, it comes with two tables, two rugs, two tapestries, or not two tapestries, tapestries on the walls, and some weapon racks. Every guild has a guild board, a guild chronicle, and a little thing where you can upgrade your you can upgrade your guild. Camera, you will see my wonderful multitasking skills. And if you're my horrible singing, I'm sorry. Anyways, this is Pain. He is one of my leaders. He has the most Pain, well, second most um, Pain in his guild. And I like to play this game a lot with him and go farming for stuff. Excuse me. My cat is trying to steal my chicken. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm going to show him a guild board. And everybody's guild board is different. Only leaders and officers and founders may upgrade the board from the last upgrade, that's what I heard. So, here's my board, and I just have some notes. I try to keep track of how much fame we have earned, so it's easy for people to come on and see how much we have. I put notes for our new members, because we have bought a lot of new members. So, put that there, I try to upgrade the board as much as possible. Things to do are just guidelines for the guild. These two things are very important to me, help those in need, and uphold the honor of the guild. If you want to get um, promoted, I will, if I see you doing these things, I will do my best to promote you. Even if you don't necessarily have all the faith you need. Things to remember, these are just some tips that are nice to know whether or not you're new. And they're pretty helpful, I think. Um, here's some Training or tra trading courtesy, you know, don't beg and hound people for their things. Ranking this is the skeleton of how I rank people. Members will become members as soon as they earn 10 fame. And if I know you've earned more than 10 fame that you haven't died, maybe I'll promote you a member. Officer and leader will change once we get 50 members. I've decided there will be five leader positions and 10 officer positions. This might be changeable, but probably not, because I like those numbers. <laughs> and I just say that the rankings are also influenced by sportsmanship, aka guidelines one and two. So, and also playing regularly, too. I see you're trying, you know. Um, I will definitely take that into consideration. Bonuses. I like to do bonuses a lot, and people are always asking me about them, so I thought I would make a spot on the board about bonuses. My favorite bonuses personally are pacifist and mundane, boots on the ground, and friend of cubes. Friend of cubes is relatively easy, and it's an easy plus 10% fame. Boots on the ground. Um, it's a nice, it's a nice bonus if you're playing by yourself or you and you don't mind leveling up slowly. The best way to level up the fastest is to join a train in the Godlands, but if you're doing boots on the ground, not a good idea to travel across the plains at level 5, because you'll either lag out or die, from my experience. I, I guess some people could do it, but pacifist and mundane, I would only do if you um, do both at the same time if you're farming fame, seriously. But if I'm just playing a character in general, I might do one or the other. That is the guild board. And every guild board's, um, every guild's board is different, depending on the guild. Some people are more uptight. Some people are not. And this is where you would go to Nexus, of course, and this is the vault. Everybody has a vault. Everybody gets one chest in their vault when they start off the game. <coughs> Vaults are five dollars each or hundred or five hundred coins, 
and I have five of them. As you can see, I hope I get more. And I keep reusing this one, and I have some borrowed things in here. Well, things I'm holding for people, which I write down their names, and then the things that they have me holding. And then I can remember to give them their stuff back. I have some hides here that I've been storing for my my archer because I die a lot. So scales, D scales, and some mithril armor that I have for my paladin because I like healing people. And here are some seals for my paladin, some extra stuff that I will probably give away to my guild members because I'm really bad at trading. Here are my two pets. The ant is the only free ant on this game. And this is the brown fox, one of the cheapest pets that you can get. How you can get the ant is by going onto this website, Progates. Pro not sure if I'm saying that right. This is how you spell it. You go onto this website, and what you'll do is you'll make an account, and then you will link your current or your account that you use to the Crowgate account, and you will play as an assassin. And once you get to level 10, you will go back to this chest here. And there should be a little ant. The ant comes in red, blue, black, and green. And if there's any other colors I forgot, I am sorry. And that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And please comment, like, and or subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.